Hello, hope you're having a great day. I wanted to follow up a previous video concerning the subject of uh, relationships, uh, friendships, what have you, uh, and reconciliation and keeping peace and making peace. I want to read to you something out of Proverbs. Uh, you know, Proverbs is the book of wisdom, and uh, chapter 6, verses 16 through 19, uh, holds a lot of wisdom um, for us on this subject. Um, it begins, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Amen for God's word. Um, I guess what's on my mind is that there's another side to this coin. Um, yes, there uh, can be offenses taken, um, but also, you know, if we are on uh, this other side of the coin and someone comes to us uh, seeking consolation or seeking, you know, encouragement or comfort, let's make sure that um, we're not, you know, going to be guilty of sowing discord among the brethren. And, and, and what, what I mean by that is um, let's do what we can to foster reconciliation and peace you know let's advise that offended party to, to seek the Lord in prayer to, let's refer them back to the word that reminds us and instructs us that you know we really should give the offending party the opportunity to uh, to repent to apologize and to seek um, restoration of the of the relationship of the friendship so um, let's make sure that we don't um, do anything short of um, following peace with all men like the word of God says and holy holiness without which no man shall see the Lord um, it's easy to kind of lose the priority of fostering peace um, but I believe that God can use us to help people to get together husbands and wives friends siblings brothers and sisters in the Lord I mean whatever the case may be if you're dealing with two people who are uh, in relationship with the Lord uh, facilitating peace ought to be um, a ready option you know if, if it's not the option of first choice then we it's a prayer project because we're not supposed to want to keep you know apart from one another we're supposed to look for ways of as the scripture says you know um, living peaceably as much as life within you live peaceably with all men okay just wanted to follow that thing up wanted to make sure that you know we we addressed it um, you know, on, on both sides of the coin, as it were. Um, so if, if God allows you to be in, t in the mix of a situation, um, let's make sure that we're, we're starving the fire. Let's make sure we're not adding fuel to the fire. You know, let's try to get folks together. Let's try not to draw them to ourselves. And, you know, we're all of a sudden we're somebody's new best friend because they're mad with, the, you know, the other party. Let's, let's realize there's enough friendship there's enough brotherhood and, and sisterhood in the body to go around. You know, we don't own each other's friendships, and uh, let's let's not be competitive that, that way. Let's make sure that we just you know create as much as possible an environment where we can literally be one big happy family. Okay, God bless you. I hope this touches you, and I hope this uh, has some meaning in your life. And and I trust and pray that this word um, will find an application uh, for somebody out there uh, who who's endeavoring to live this life. God bless you. Amen.